weather outside is getting beautiful and the stay at home order in our county of Pennsylvania has been lifted. So we are getting ready to go camping and that means there's a process to getting ready to go camping. And we'll go through some of those steps with you. So if you watched our DIY landscaping videos, you know we got five yards of, of mulch in the back of this truck. But now we're starting the process of getting ready to go camping. And I gotta get this mulch not only out of the back of the truck, but out of those rails where I can put the fifth wheel hitch back in. So to do that, I brought out a blower and a brush. when we go camping we choose a spot that's along the water which means we do not have electricity so that means we use this Honda EU 3000 IS generator and I bought this generator in 2008 I actually looked in the paperwork I have the original paperwork for it so in 2008 this generator cost $1,800 and the thing that we're going to do today is change the oil in it because once it's ready to go we'll put it in the front of the bed of the truck and then it actually stays underneath the tonneau cover except for when we need it, I can roll the tonneau cover back and use it. Otherwise, it's covered by the tonneau cover, it's protected while we are out in the sun and any rain or any other weather. Changing the oil in this generator is not a difficult task. Um, actually, nothing about this generator is difficult other than lifting it into the bed of the truck. Now, I was able to lift it up myself, but it's, it's a hard thing to do. I struggle with it every time. Uh, a lot of times I like to use the front end loader on the tractor to lift it up to the bed, but today I don't have the loader on the tractor yet, so. Anyway, the first step in the process of changing the oil is opening this door, and the whole door actually comes off. Things you'll wanna have to get started, tools you'll need, a 10 millimeter socket, a pan and a funnel, a rag and I bought a kit off of Amazon that included the Honda 10W30 oil as well as a new air filter so we'll replace the air filter at the same time that we change the oil there is no oil filter in this generator so really all we're doing is draining and refilling I like to take the dipstick out just to let it breathe a little bit. And I did put some boards at the back so that there's a little bit of a tilt. And watch, there is a washer on this plug. I just wipe it off. The end of it looks good. Okay, it's just about done dripping now. It doesn't take that long. There's less than a quart of oil in the generator. So I'll go ahead and put the drain plug back in. I don't tighten that very tight. It doesn't take much pressure. And I'll remove the boards from the back so that we can refill. I like to use this small funnel to fill because when it is in, it gives me this extra area to pour into. And when you're filling this, you just wanna fill it until the oil gets to the threads of the dipstick. Now you can see on the dipstick there are hash marks, but they go clear to the top because you want to fill it clear up to the threads.
And it doesn't take the entire quart, so we'll pour slowly here. And it looks like that'll do it. So I'll put the dipstick back in. Clean up any drips we had. If you can put the generator up on something like I have it in the bed of the truck, that makes it so much easier. You can imagine if this were sitting on the ground, there's not much space uh, for any type of container underneath, let alone a funnel. Put the door back on. That's it for the oil change. So now we will swivel the generator and I'll show you how to change the air filter. The air filter is housed in this side panel. So you can use a flathead screwdriver to unlock the panel. And here's where that filter is housed. There are four clips that hold the lid on. And inside the lid there is a mesh filter and the pleated filter. Now we hardly ran this last year. Uh, there wasn't very much camping and this one's actually really clean so I'm not going to bother replacing it. It looks good. So I will put it back in but if you were replacing it you would just put the new one in at this point. Make sure that that mesh filter is in place. Lid back on. Clip all four clips. Close the door. And you're done. Now since I didn't use this filter, I went ahead and wrote with a Sharpie on it, Honda 3000 generator, so that when I put it back on the shelf, I remember what this is to. Now we're going to check and make sure everything works okay before we go camping to make sure that we have power when we need it. Uh, there is a battery inside this that starts it electronically, so we'll just check and make sure everything works. A note, I do use, when I can, ethanol free gasoline in this. This is not fuel injected, it does have a carburetor and I'm always worried about the ethanol gumming up the carburetor. So I use ethanol free gasoline when I can. If I do not have access to that, I use the, uh, the highest grade of gasoline that I can get, 93 or 94, and then I run the entire tank out before I store this. So we'll turn the gas to on. We'll turn the eco throttle off. First time starting it, so we will use the choke. So that's one more thing done and ready to go camping. One last note about the generator in the back of the truck. I do put a board in front of it to keep it from sliding against the very front of the bed. And I use a cable and lock to lock it in place uh, just to deter someone from thinking about taking it. And you'll notice I do not have the wheel kit. If it had the wheel kit on it, it would not fit under the tonneau cover. It just fits under now. So that's one of the reasons I do not have the wheel kit.